Good evening. I'm speaking on behalf of Larbert Baptist Church. Uh, this is Thought for the Day, Monday, the 24th of January. I'll quote a well-known verse from the scriptures, Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 34. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Now there's an aphorism which applies across the board. It's an affirmation which is universally applicable. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Righteousness. What is righteousness? Righteousness is holiness in action. It is the expression without of what is within. Holiness within cannot but show itself as righteousness without. If there is purity within, it is evident in cleanness without. Where there is reverence to that which is sacred and equitable and just and proportionate and profound and excellent in the attitudes of the soul within, there will unfold a social order which in all its ways is much to be desired. The exaltation of a nation which is imbued with righteousness is impromptu. It isn't an angled for reputation. It isn't within a righteous nation's thought to have such a fame, yet such an exaltation cannot but be found because there is within human nature, however skewed, the outcry of conscience, which will never be silenced regarding the glory of what is right, righteousness, exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Sin. What is sin? Sin is unholiness in action. It is the expression without of what is within. 
unholiness within cannot but be unrighteousness without. Impurity within is evident in foulness without. Where there is scorn of the truth and manipulation of falsehood, there will be bias and partiality and inequality and superficiality there will be the exaltation of that which is trivial and a plethora of at best that which is third rate there will be social unrest erosion of standards standards which have been established for millennia. The comity of nations will be scarred by an unrighteous nation. Sin is a reproach to any people. But that word reproach, it's an action word. Reproach isn't some superior tut tut, a ticking off by others. Reproach is a continual evidence in effect of what is wrong within. Reproach is as active in works that are shameful as kindness is active in works that are honourable. And I take those two words together. Reproach and kindness. And for a perfectly extraordinary reason <coughs> is this that in the Hebrew of the Old Testament, as far as I can see, reproach and kindness are the same word, chesed, the same word. How can that be? Because both are action words. Reproach is action. Kindness is not some high-flown high sentiment. It is getting stuck in and doing that which is right. And you see the, the similarity between the words, though they are poles apart. Reproach is a creeping, spreading, contaminating plague. Reproach is the antithesis of our exaltation. It is a disgrace. It is an obvious 
an ever less disguised shame. Sin is a reproach to any people. And there's the alternative. The alternative in anyone's life and the alternative in any nation's life. Righteousness exalts a nation but sin is a reproach to any people. I speak as a Christian and one of the slanders that have currency in unworthy thinking is that a Christian is but a toffee-nosed goody-goody mincing his delicate way through the inferior rabble. Absolutely, categorically, to be a Christian is nothing like that. To be a Christian is to be one who is profound profoundly conscious of inward need. The doctrine of the Holy Gospel of Jesus Christ set as it is within the canon of inspired scripture, Old and New Testaments alike. The doctrine of this gospel turns upon the fulcrum of one cardinal truth, that the human nature, the human race, needs to be rescued from the awful power of sin. And the rescue that was prophesied at the dawn of recorded time in God's holy word and fulfilled in the incarnate life of Jesus Christ carries with it an overwhelming astonishment. And I tell you, the astonishment does not lessen with the years, it rather grows with the years. And it is this, that in the life of Jesus Christ, the incarnate Saviour of the world, there is set forth the radiant, effective, dynamic, inexpressible glory of righteousness of a life within our humanity as God created it to be. It is a life of righteousness. Our blessed Redeemer did not advertise 
for his own prestige. He was indifferent as to what people thought of him. His life was dominated by that which is right. And as we contemplate the life of the Saviour, we become acutely and fearsomely aware of our own unrighteousness. We have erred and strayed from God's ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. We have done those things which we ought not to have done. And there is no health in us. It is a devastating realization that we live under the reproach of sin. I don't know if you feel that. I speak to you. I am very conscious of it. I am very conscious of all the subtle, insinuating inadequacies and imperfections and compromises and disgraces. which mar my course through human life to old age. I know that my greatest need is the Saviour. I know that. But this is where the Holy Gospel of Jesus Christ is so wonderful in its relevance for the whole purpose of Scripture, the whole aim of every passage of inspired Scripture is to point us to the Saviour. who takes us in the reproach of sin and brings us into the exaltation of his righteousness. Speak of it how you will. It is the glorious experience of coming from night into day, from death into life, from that which is to no purpose to that which is to the glory of God. The greatest need 
of our nation, of any nation, but let us say our nation. The greatest need in our parliaments and in our social establishments and in our administrations and in our economy and in our education in our schools and in our universities the greatest need is for us to come face to face with our sin and to cry out to Almighty God that, that of His great mercy and His saving love He would lift us up into His righteousness Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Well, there's a thought and a half. I pray it may be effective. God bless you. Good night.